Want some guys? Welcome back to another video on the Fearless Nink YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over my round 21 2022 AFL tips and predictions. And obviously, as well as that, like we always do, we're going to be going back over my round 20 tips from last week and seeing how I went. If you guys go on to enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, share it with a friend and subscribe to the channel if you are new or you've, or you've seen my content before and you've been enjoying it as of late. Uh, yeah, we are so close to 300 subscribers. I think we're only like four or five away now. So if you could please hit that big red button down below, that would be much appreciated. Now I probably should, now I probably should answer the obvious question, why is this video earlier than usual? Well, it turns out I'm actually going on a school expedition, expedition um, over uh, Wednesday or today, whenever you're watching this. So I'll be gone from Wednesday to Friday, so I won't be able to film it on the Wednesday, which I normally do. So I'm going to have to get this out a little bit earlier, but hopefully, uh, yeah, you enjoy the, uh, the sort of earlier upload than uh, usual. But nonetheless, uh, enjoy the video, like, share, subscribe, and yeah, without any further ado, let's get stuck into it. Uh, four, so four round 20 uh, last week. Uh, I got a six out of nine uh, last week, which has sort of been my my typical score, the, the five and six out of nines. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've really been getting a, a lot of five and six uh, this year, if I'm going to be honest. Anyways, we'll quickly go over the games uh, from last round, starting off with the uh, the Friday night game uh, between the Dockers and the Dees, and Dees got it done pretty comfortably by uh, 56 points. And uh, yeah, they were just way too strong uh, for the Dockers in the end. It was just a really another, it was a really poor Friday night match, uh, I'm going to be really honest. But yeah, the Dockers just didn't look up to it. And uh, Melbourne's defence looked pretty much back to their best. Uh, next game of the MCG, we had it. Uh, it was Collingwood and Port Adelaide. Collingwood getting another thriller done by six points. They seem to only play thrillers at this point, Collingwood. It's getting ridiculous. I don't know how many... I've actually lost count how many thrillers they've played in Collingwood. They've played in so many. But credit to the Pies that they just keep getting the job done. And like I've said in my Power Rankings video, I've loved what the Pies have been doing. Um, and yeah, I think the, the question is, can they still do damage um, in September? I don't know how to answer that one yet. Uh, Pies fans, let me know. Uh, how far can your team go this year? Next game at the SCG, we have the, uh, the Sydney Derby between... Uh, the Swans and the Giants. It's actually called the Battle of the Bridge, um, which I forgot about. But uh, yeah, Sydney getting a little bit of revenge for the over the Giants from last year. Um, the, the Swans comfortably getting the job done there uh, over the Giants at the SCG. Next game at Marvel Stadium, we had the Saints and the Hawks. The Saints got the job done by 12 points. It was a little bit... It looked like it could have been a lot more. The Saints, I'm pretty sure, had a 30, 35 point lead or something like that at uh, free quarter time. And then Hawthorne had a massive surge in that in that last quarter and really uh, poured on some goals and looked like they could maybe steal it from the Saints. But no, the Saints um, were, were good enough just to just to see it out and see out. Uh, the four points which they needed to do to stay, to keep their finals hopes alive. Next game at GMHBA Stadium, we had the Cats and the Dogs. The Cats got the job done um, over the Dogs by, what is that, 28 points. Um, yeah, credit to the Bulldogs though. They started really, really well. Uh, the Cats, uh, yeah, they did it for Joel Selwood. They got, the, they got the victory for him. Shout out to him on 350 games. The most ever um, by a, a single Geelong player. The next game at the Adelaide Oval, we had the Crows and the Blues, and a big upset. The Crows uh, getting the job done over the Blues at Adelaide Oval. Um, a fair play to the Crows. They were outstanding all night. Their pressure, Carlton could not move the ball at all. And, uh, yeah, they really exposed Carlton defensively. So, uh, well done to the Crows. That was a, For Carlton, it's a blow because they really needed to win that to secure their final uh, to secure their place in the top eight, um, and yeah, with the with the games that are coming up, finals is not a certainty for the Blues uh, anymore. Um, whereas a couple of weeks ago, it, it probably looked certain the Blues would make finals. Next game at Metricon Stadium. This was a really weird game. We got uh, Gold Coast and West Coast. Shout out to West Coast for that unbelievable effort. Just didn't give up all day. Every time the Suns would kick a goal, the Eagles would respond. It was a brilliant. Brilliant game to watch, and that last quarter, West Coast really, really took it up to them, got it within two points, 
um, or three points, whatever it was, and they only went down by three points. So against Gold Coast, that's a pretty good effort from, from West Coast. And the next game of the MCG, we've got the Tigers and the Lions, and you can imagine I was pretty happy when uh, I saw this game. Uh, I was really annoyed at uh, quarter time. I think, I'm pretty sure the Lions pulled on like seven goals in the first quarter, and I was like, well, there goes our finals chances. But uh, luckily, for, for my sake and for our season's sake, we were able to turn it around and get a very, very impressive seven-point win after being, what, 42 points down or something like that. Um, or maybe 36, one of the two. Geez, they do not like the MCG, the Brisbane Lions. Um, but luckily for me, uh, I got the tip right as well. So thank goodness for that. And uh, yeah, Richmond won. So it made it even better. And the last game at Marvel Stadium, we had the Bombers and the Roos. Don't really have much to say about this game. The Bombers were just the better side. And uh, I believe North were in the contest at quarter time. But I think after that, I didn't really watch this game. I, you know, that second half, Essendon just you know poured on, poured on goals. And uh, you know, but yeah, good win for Essendon. Um, you know, they they really cap off their their you know really strong second half of the year and. Uh, I think they're going to, they, hopefully, for Bombers fans' sake, they can do some damage next year. But anyways, those were my round 20 tips um, from last week. Like I said, 6 out of 9. It's not the best score, but it's it's definitely not the worst. So anyways, those were my round 20 tips. Now let's move on to the round 21. Alrighty, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Round 21, the uh, the third last round of the, uh, of the AFL season. Um, so here we are, first game on the Friday night. I think, I think my, I think I come back on the Friday, so I think I will be able to watch this game. I come back Friday afternoon, um, so I will be able to watch this game. Um, we've got the D's and the Pies at the MCG. This is going to be a massive game, a top four clash, as you can see there, second versus third. This is going to be a huge, huge game. Uh, the D's have just had a monster win over Frio in Perth, absolutely, pretty much blowing them off the blowing them out of the water uh, last night. The D's, their defence was sensational. Whereas Collingwood, they won another thriller against Port Adelaide at the MCG. They seem to only play thrillers. Uh, uh, I think I'm going to go the safe option and tip the D's in this one. I think I know Collingwood won it on Queen's birthday, but the D's were in way worse form than they are now. I think. Uh, go but I think this time Melbourne, they're in a lot better form. It would be even bigger if Collingwood won this time, but uh, I just don't see it happening twice in a row. I think the D's are going to get their revenge in this game, and I reckon they'll get a good win there. Uh, I'm going to tip the D's by points. I think the D's will win this one by 13 points. I think it'll be a good game, but uh, if the Pies drop off at any point in the game, I think Melbourne are going to punish them. So... Uh, yeah, I'm going to tip the D's to win that one by 13 points. Uh, next game in at UTAS, sorry. I was about to say Marvel or something like that. But it's in Tasmania. we got the Hawks up against Gold Coast. Uh, these two obviously played off earlier on in the year. And Gold Coast won by a huge margin. But then again, that was up in Darwin. Uh, this time it's in Tasmania where the Hawks um, historically have a very good record at UTAS. The Hawks. I think they haven't. They, um, I think pretty sure the last game they played there, they beat Brisbane. So uh, I think they are a fair shout to win this Hawthorne. And I think Gold Coast got away with one against uh, a West Coast, personally. So uh, I'm, I'm going to tip Hawthorne here. I reckon. I think they're a good shout to win this. Uh, I'm going to be tipping the Hawks in this game, and I'm going to tip them to get the job done by let's go. Let's go 18 points. I think the Hawks will. At Giants Stadium, we've got the Giants up against the Bombers. Uh, the Giants are not in great form, unfortunately, for them. You can see there, they're 16 from the ladder. They've really... Where's the Bombers? That's a completely different story. They're, they are in some flying form at the moment. They've won... Pretty sure they're four... I think they've won four of their last five games, if I'm not mistaken. I think something close to that. Um, and their loss, their only loss was to Collingwood, and that was after the siren. So uh, they could have easily won their last five or so games. So I think it's no doubt who I'm going to be tipping here. I could see the Giants winning. Um, they're always capable of an upset, but I think for me, I'm going to be tipping the Bombers in this one. And I reckon they'll get the job done by uh, 16 points. Uh, next game at Marvel Stadium, we've got the Dogs up against Frio. Now, this is a huge, huge game because... Uh, the Dogs win. Uh, they're definitely still a chance this season. 
Uh, but if Frio win, uh, they could potentially still contend for top four um, and uh, sort of secure... Well, they're pretty much secured in finals anyway, the Dockers, but they'd want to have a crack at top four, I reckon, after the season they've had. So, uh, yeah, ideally, uh, the Dockers... Um, win this um, for, for Richmond's sake. I, I'm, I'm going to be barracking for Frio in this game. Um, but the Dogs beat the Ds at Marvel, so who's to say they can't beat uh, the Dockers at Marvel? Uh, but you know what? I'm going to go a bit of an upset. I'm going to go a bit of an upset. Now, I know Frio, they've had a bit of a down patch, but they've got to bounce back at some point. And I think the Dogs have been a little bit inconsistent this year. I'm going to tip Frio. I know I tipped them last week and it didn't come off, but they got to bounce back at some point. And like I've said, I've been a big fan of the Dockers and I will be barracking for them in this game, um, obviously. I tip the Dockers in a big, of, a bit of an upset. I'm going to tip the Dockers to win by eight points. Uh, next game at GMHBA Stadium, we've got Geelong up against St Kilda. Now, I think you'd have to be probably one of the most biased St Kilda fans um, if you were to tip St Kilda in this game because Geelong are absolutely flying at the moment. Them and Collingwood have been probably the two form teams of the comp uh, at the moment. And uh, yeah, the Saints have been a little bit up and down. They've had two wins in a row, so fair play to them. Um, but I think this will be a step too far and I think Geelong should go on to win this game and they'll get a good victory there over the, over the Saints and I'm going to tip the Cats to win by 27 points. Uh, next game at the Adelaide Oval, we've got Port Adelaide and the Tigers. Massive game this one. I think uh, Port Adelaide, they have got nothing to play for. I think they're pretty much out of finals contention. Whereas for Richmond, for our sake, it's it's all on the line for Richmond at the moment. I think, you know, they want to play finals. they got to win this game. We beat Brisbane last week. Um, if Can we back it up and beat Port Adelaide in Adelaide? Uh, this week. It's going to be tough. Port Adelaide really took it up to Geelong uh, at that ground and they're a very different side of Adelaide Oval but uh, hopefully gives us a bit of confidence and we don't get too far ahead of ourselves. I think the power are definitely capable of winning this. I would not rule them out but you know what? Upset, biased upset uh, you might say. I'm going to tip Richmond and win this by three points I say. Uh, next game at Marvel Stadium, well, do we even need to discuss this? I think it's a pretty no-brainer tip here. The Swans, I reckon, will get the job done over North Melbourne. There's always, there's always, there's always a slim chance North Melbourne could win, but the way Sydney are playing at the moment, I think it's pretty, pretty hard to pick North Melbourne in this game, even though it's at Marvel Stadium. Uh, I'm going to be tipping the Swans here to get a bit of a percentage booster and win by 46 points. Uh, next game at the Gabba. This is a huge game. We've got Brisbane up against Carlton. This is the match I'm looking forward to because, um, well, this is a very evenly matched game, I think, because Brisbane just gave up a 40-point lead against Richmond. Um, I know it was at the MCG and it probably wouldn't have happened if it was at the Gabba. Um, whereas Carlton gave up a pretty winnable game against Adelaide and um, well both teams well Brisbane are locked in finals uh, Carlton need to win to be locked in finals but um, but we know what Carlton are doing they go win loss win loss win loss win loss they've just had a loss you never know maybe it's Carlton's maybe Carlton continue that trend and get a win but Oh, mate, it's really hard. Oh, this is a nightmare. I actually don't know. I feel like that game could go either way. Brisbane's defense was badly exposed by Richmond on the weekend, especially in that second half. Um, and they're coming up against uh, Kurnow and Mackay, who we know are no easy beats. Um, so, however, it's at the Gabba. I'm, I think I'm going to have to tip Brisbane in this one. I, that's really tough, though. I think... Those teams are those two teams really well matched. Like I, I it's pretty hard to split them. Um, Carlton's best footy is arguably just as good, if not better, than Brisbane's. But um, for me, I think Brisbane at the Gabba should be fine. I think it'll be a thriller. I'm going to say the Lions win by nine points. I think it's going to be absolute. Of the round at Optus Stadium, geez, we've whizzed through this one, haven't we? Um, we've got West Coast up against Adelaide. Oh wow, this is an this is a toss-up because I think um, both teams have um, 
you know, he had a bit of form. He had a bit of form. Obviously, West Coast really took it up to Gold Coast um, at Metricon Stadium last week. And uh, the Crows, well, they got a big, big monster win over Carlton last week. Um, albeit it was at the Adelaide Oval. Uh, the Crows aren't the best in a state side, I'm going to be honest. And, and West Coast, and, uh, like I've said, they've found a bit of form West Coast this back end of the year. They haven't been always getting... I am actually feeling West Coast a little bit here. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm feeling West Coast. I feel like they could win, but you know what? I'm going to go the... Oh, is, it, is it the safe tip? I don't know the tip Adelaide. But no, nah, you know what? I'm going to tip Adelaide in this one. Um, but here's my, here's my call, though. I reckon uh, West Coast keep the first couple ga goals of the game. But I think Adelaide win the game by four points, you know. So, uh, my round 21 tips. Let's go back over them. Uh, we tip the Ds um, over the Pies by 13 points. That game could potentially go either way, though. Um, I, we've tipped Hawthorne. I tipped Hawthorne over Gold Coast in Tasmania. I tipped Essendon over GWS at Giant Stadium. I tipped Frio over the Bulldogs at Marvel. I don't know if that's a smart option, but I'm picking the Dockers to bounce back um, and win that game. Uh, I'm tipping Geelong over St Kilda at GMHBA. I'm tipping Richmond over Port Adelaide. I think um, some might say, you know, Richmond biased and, you know, all that. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna tip Richmond. I, I've got to I, I've got to listen to the people. I've got to have faith in my team. Um, I'm gonna tip Sydney over North Melbourne. That should really be a win, honestly. Um, I tipped Brisbane over Carlton. Now I'm almost willing to change, but I'm just gonna. It's the grand. It, the fact that it's at the Gabba is the only reason I'm tipping Brisbane um, because I think Carlton are definitely capable. Um, I'm tipping Adelaide over West Coast. I feel like that is almost a 50-50 game, though, because I feel like West Coast can really turn it on if they want to. So those are my round 21 tips. But before we go, as always, uh, we're going to check the comp, see who's going on. And, oh, we've got a new... Oh, wow. Bro, we've got... Um, how many new... We've got two new members. Um, let's see. Well, we've got a new leader, uh, Maxi, Maxi Talk, Max T. Uh, he's on 120 tips. He got a seven last week. So cheers for joining the comp, mate. You've joined at the right time, it looks like, uh, because you've taken the lead by one one tip. Uh, we've got St. Light Ben P, who was in first until uh, Max T entered, entered the comp. And uh, yeah, he's in second now. He's only one tip behind, though. He got a six this week. Uh, Seb H, or oh, sorry, Khan the Catters, who got five. Um, he's on 116 correct tips. Uh, Magpie Army 2016 got a seven. He's on 115. Um, so that is so that so yeah those those four are leading the way at the moment. We've got uh, eating sunscreen Jake L who's on 113. Uh, I've dropped to six. Um, I don't know how that's happened, but anyway it, it happens. Um, we've got um, oh yeah like I said got a six this week and I'm on 111 correct tips. I'm equal with Angus, but I think the margin is the only thing keeping me um, above him at the moment. He got a five as well. He's on 111, like I said. Um, Shannon is on five. He's on 106 correct tips. Uh, Lincoln Barton, is he got a six this week. He's on 104. He's overtaken Louis. Um, Victor B has overtaken Louis as well. He got a seven, um, and he's on 102. Uh, Louis dropped a couple spots. He's dropped out of the top 10. Uh, he got a free this week, and he's on 101 correct tips. Um, we got Dylan, um, who's, who's joined the comp as well. Um, so cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Uh, he got a six this week, and he's on 68 correct tips. Um, D's Nut, uh, he's on 62 correct tips. He got a one this week, along with uh, Adam the Goat 37, who seemed to be sharing the. Uh, the, the bottom two uh, at the moment. Um, so hope, I hope those guys can bounce up the ladder, but it, it doesn't really look like it. Um, so uh, yeah, that is the uh, the Fearless Nick comp. If you want to join uh, my comp, it'll be in the link in the description and in uh, in the pinned comment uh, as well, like it always is. So yeah, it'll be it'll be there as always. So if you want to join it, it'll be. So just go to the description and the pinned comment if you want to join my tipping comp. Shout out to all these legends who have joined uh, the tipping comp. Thanks a lot, guys, and thanks to the two new members.
So there we go, guys. Those were my round 21 tips uh, for this upcoming round. Comment down below your tips as always. Uh, comment down below how you went on the weekend if you're not in my comp as always Make sure to join the tipping comp if you haven't already um, Like I've said it will be in the pinned comment and in the link in the description uh, Like it always is. Thank you so much for watching like share subscribe before you go uh, Yeah, we are so close to 300 subscribers where I think we're like five or four four or five away so uh, if you could make that happen before the finals kick off, uh, that would be absolutely amazing. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Cheers!